And this is my Diamondback Wildwood City Bike. This is a bike that I got a few years ago that was given to me that was not ridden at all. And I in return gave it to someone else and they didn't ride it either. And it was collecting dust. They just gave it back to me. So I cleaned it up. And this is probably the first time it's been ridden in a number of years. Just a little short period of time that I rode it when I first got it. But it is a really nice bike. I forgot how really well made and how nice the components are on this Diamondback. It looks very much like the extra large Diamondback Wildwood City I showed recently. And it actually was way too big for me. I ended up... Hello. I ended up selling that and this one's more my size but it's a really pretty bike I'll show you all about it here Diamondback Wildwood classic rather not city my other bikes a city get my bikes confused this has the really nice Shimano Revo shift on it which you can't really see but the gear number is indicated in here grip shift so these are really nicer components on here seven on the rear which this bike has no kickstand so i got it leaning over and three on the crank all shimano components shimano rear derailleur and crank derailleur i'm riding on one of the raleigh greenways today next to our 440 Beltline Highway, so it's a bit noisy. Very pretty color, kind of silver, blue, and black. It's got 26 by 2 inch tires on here and wheels. Rim brakes, the tires are really like new on here. Still got the nubs. Just was never really ridden. Rim brakes here, look how nice the front tire is. Shock is very nice, CS Comfort. Just a very pretty bike. Much like that Trek I showed recently. It's got the cables hidden in the frame for the rear derailleur. And for the rear brake. I really like that, it just neatens up the cables and everything on the bike cleans it up it's got a really nice diamond back seat on it and this is a large 19 inch frame if that comes out very nice pedals a very smooth bike I'm still adjusting on it today because the front brake like that Trek has been sticking on it a bit these bikes, if they sit up periods of time, you really have to go back and adjust everything. Lube everything, adjust everything, which is what I did on this bike. And it's got all the nice end caps, which I like. Never been removed. Front and rear derailleur. And for the front and rear brake, it's a rear derailleur a very pretty bike maybe it's found an owner for a while this time nobody else seems to want it I'm gonna kind of call this the boomerang diamondback wildwood classic bike very pretty I'll give you a little ride here to show you how nice this is on this greenway I won't go very far but just a really pretty nice moving riding comfort hybrid bike
here with the diamond back wildwood classic really rides smooth i would just add this in Got a little bit of a front brake drag slowly getting better you buy bikes been sitting for a long time clean them lube them but don't make any adjustments till you ride it i bring tools with me make minor adjustments as needed most times it'll work themselves out. This one's gotten a lot better. Super nice bike, very smooth. Gear shift very good on it. And that was just a quick ride on the Diamondback Wildwood Classic. What a beautiful bike. This is mile marker 11 on the Greenway here. This is Crabtree Creek. Just gave you a quick short ride. They just reopened this part back up from some flooding. Carolina Country Club is near here in Raleigh. Just a very pretty bike. I couldn't remember how really nice this bike was. Just was never ridden. Nobody seems to want it call this the boomerang bike now I got it back again the other diamondback wildwood classic with the extra large frame just didn't fit me it was actually a bit too large it was not very comfortable this one is a lot better with the uh, more of the large frame 19 inch these bikes sit up a little bit higher because they're comfort bikes So we may keep this one around for a while. It's a beautiful bike, gorgeous day. And thank you so much for watching.